photo mention it was ya Now oh you say what you read Oh you say Oh Rock roll Rock roll Rock roll the warranty Now oh you say what you read
Sense the prophetic atmosphere for impactful service this morning. And by the time we are through with you this morning, this evening, Sunday morning, Sunday evening, your life will never and can never ever be the same again. Hallelujah. I have some books here that I want to talk about it. Oh, these are some of the few books that are available written by our father, the Apostle General of Obuasi. The first book I'm talking about is there, Advancing to Your Next Level in Life and in Ministry. Life is such that we are meant to progress. 
life is meant that we move on from where we are yesterday and move on to a level where God wants us to be. Imagine you gave birth to your son. Your son is two years and he's still crawling. Uman Fufua, no adi. Uman Bankua, no adi. Abetia, no adi. Even a mutu, the other man be a no adi. But still, he is crawling. All parents will bear with him that will be frustrated. Hallelujah. Why? Because the time that a child is expected to advance he is not. These are wisdom nuggets that you need in order to move from where you are to the level where God has placed you. A level that God wants you to be. That is a book you can never afford not to have some advancing to your next level. There is always a next level in everybody's life and in your ministry. And I want to specially recommend this book written by our father, Advancing to Your Next Level. These books are just credit. 30 cities. It's credit. Hallelujah. And the data crowd, 30 cities. How many data can 30 cities? How many data can 30 cities give you? Kwame, 30 cities. How many data can it give you? Ah. No one is in how many days? Five days. If you are like some of us who do the broadcasting, we use it only one day. Hallelujah. These are just credit money. 30 cities advancing to your next level in life and ministry. Hallelujah. And then the second book I'm talking about is Dress Up for the Occasion. Ladies and gentlemen, every occasion demands a certain attire. You cannot go to your, your son's wedding day wearing funeral clothes. Neither can you enter into a funeral service with white white. You will be accused that you are the one who killed the person. Are you hearing me? We be a wuni and ya brepa ni a se koko uh my friend say a yin to my koko ni wan wine. Now what's a fita fita now in a mo? Hallelujah. Dress up for the occasion. Every occasion demands a certain attire. And this is a book that our father has specially penned down. Dress up for the occasion. The wisdom, the knowledge, and information that are in this book will prepare you for every occasion in life and in ministry. I love this book because I love to dress. Hallelujah. Papa will teach you how to dress in this book. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Eh? He will tell you that a certain type of dress will even give you a presidential treat when you are walking through an airport. This is a man that has traveled throughout the continent of this world. He knows what many people doesn't know. Dress up for the occasion. I especially recommend. This is also data free. 30 Ghana. Hallelujah. 30 Ghana. So right now, if you, you don't have a copy, I want you to buy a copy before he comes. Are you hearing me? If you don't have a copy of this book, I want you to lift your hands. The ushers will bring you some, just 30 cities, and then you get it. And then our final latest book, The Dressmaker. The Dressmaker. These books talks about information for information after deformation. It is an information that you need at this end time. After, after every deformation, after every corruption, after every decay, the informations, the knowledge, the informations, the wisdom you need in order to bounce back. In fact, this book is, 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 is cute. That is because it is power packed. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. And we are planning... Um, for those of you who are buying that our father will specially sign it for you, especially this one book. If you don't have a copy, I want you to lift your hands. Let the ushers give you a copy. Listen, there's one woman here who bought Papa's book. Her house got burnt. Everything in the house got burnt. The only place, the only place in that woman's property that wasn't burnt was a place that she had Papa's book. The woman couldn't read. Onyobi Otimikai book. As she bought the book. 
Because she believed in the anointing upon her father and the anointing inside the book. The fear you know, she, hey, this is a common story, you know, but everybody knows. It was on radio, chapter five, and everybody, it is just on radio. Hallelujah. And this is a man we are talking about. So make sure you don't live here without having a copy of the books. Please lift up your hands if you don't have a copy. I'm giving you a copy right now to buy it. Please, ushers, quickly, quickly, quickly. This one, Umasin and all the international bookstores, we sell it 50 CDs. But here, our father said, no, let's give you a discount. Because home, sweet home. Catch you say home, sweet home. Oh, catch you say home, sweet home. Ushers, please, quickly, we are doing this within the next five minutes. Lift up your hands if you don't have a copy. For those of you who are buying the dressmaker, I am believing God that our father will, will have a special time for him to sign, give you an autograph of the dressmaker book for you. Hallelujah. So that he will make some prophetic declarations in your life. Lift up your hands if you don't have a copy. We have some few copies around. They are called Sansa Tokens. I'm out for Boyan. Who can answer? Answer. Please come here. Come here quickly. Oh, lift, lift your hands if you don't have. It's just 40 cities. But your mom, daddy, be daddy wants a copy of the book quickly. We have to learn how to appreciate our own. And I'm not a catch or say, any papa to cry. And put Sabbath, Sabbath with all humility. Any Ben on any two cry, who's a sign in Yemben, sir. You know. Debia Takas are there, Ben. Why are we shutting your day? In who not the bind? Hallelujah. But I, I, I believe that we are a generation who wouldn't miss the blessings because we are too close. But we appreciate the anointing and place the demand on the anointing in the man of God. Please lift your hands. Lift your hands. If you need a copy, I will make sure Papa gives you an autograph before you leave. Who else need a copy? Dress up for the occasion and then advance into your next level. All these books and many books are coming. Yes. Lift your lift, 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 lift your hands. God, you are taking the God of Apostle Iman Adadi to your home, to your office. Okay. A good Samaritan, a son of our father all the way from Cameroon, has bought five. And he has given me the authority to give it out. So, how many of you want a copy? If you need a copy, raise up your hand. Share. Advancing to your next level. This is just 30 cities. So, who should I give to? Any part 30. Books is here five. Then I need but your mom pebby now, Mamma Sasso. Wow, Pebbuk Nibia Mansasso. One, two, three, four, five. Please, I need the sons of this house to make sure all those who are in need of papa copies are given. I need this is um one, two, three, four, five. I need somebody who wants to buy another five to be added so that we can give to the people. How much is this five? One is 30, so how much is five? 150. I need another person who will buy another five so that I can add it to the five and then we give it up because the five I can't share. Otherwise, I don't know how I'm good. How do I share five to 15 people? Tell me. Should I divide the book into two? So how do I share five to 15 people? Another five. Bring me another five. I need another son to buy me another five. You are buying five. Apostle, another five. Please bring me all the book. Brings me. Now you are bringing me 30, 20 books. Who wants to buy another five? Please, another five. Bring it. Bring me 25 books. Share with the other four. They all pro. Oh, pair the four. They pop, 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 pop. Please hurry up, hurry up. So, hurry up. Uh, dress up for the occasion. Bring me additional five of that 
bring me, advance it to your next level, 10. We'll use, for those who paid for the dressmaker, we'll make Papa autograph it for you. Is that okay? Is it fair? What are the books, please? I'm doing this with it. I have just two minutes. So I have 25 books. 25 books. Okay. You are giving some. You are buying some for people. You want some? Okay, lift up your hands if you need a book. Lift up your hands again. Hey, I think we are not 30. I need another person to buy me another five. Because the hands keep getting up. I Mama, you are buying another five. Put your hands together for my mother. Now you are bringing me, bring me additional 25 books. Because, huh? How would you do there? Hey! Okay. Where are the rest of the books, please? Come on, come on, come on, come on, please. Yeah, please. Okay, five. Bring me the next, the next uh, 15. Supposed to be 25. But the hands were 30, so I need another person to buy another five. So that at least we do a fair sharing. Are you sure? It's not up too much. This is 30. 35. And this is... Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I have just 35 here. Just 35 books. Mama, you are buying additional five. God bless you. Additional five. I need another person to buy the last five. And then we share all. You are buying the last five. Please, let's put our hands together for Papa's son all the way from Cameroon. Hallelujah. Now lift up your hands if you need a copy. Or just help me do the sharing. Otherwise. Now the hands are 40. Okay. Let's share this ones. Dress up for the occasion. Let me give to. Wait. 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 Please wait. Give me one. Give me two. Two each. For all those who are buying. For them. Give me two each. Uh huh. Give me two. Good. Give me another two. Now take the rest. Okay. <laughs> okay, please. Let's do this. Mommy, God bless you. Advance. You have that one. Okay. No, this this one's you have some. The advance. Okay, we'll get you some. Okay. Hello, 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 hello. Wait, 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 wait. Don't beat the ushers. Hey, are the four they up here? Huh? Okay. Together for our Father as his citizen. Man of God, you have all these copies. Okay, so I'm giving it out. Man of God, you have all these copies. So I should give it out. You have all these copies. Hallelujah. Okay. No, the ones we are paid for, that's the only ones we are sharing. Don't get confused. Do you, do you understand? I'll give that one out. Okay? And I, I've given that one out, so this one's away. I've given the 30 books away, right? 35. I've given that away. So if you share this one, you pay. Do you understand me? How many have you shared? None. Share some and pay. You can share five and pay for the five. Is, is that fair? Are you, are you two not a son of this house? Are you not a son in this house? Young man, I'm talking to you. Share five and pay for the five. 
Okay, God bless you. Papa. Lift up your hands if you didn't get some. Ah, so who, which people did you give the 25 to? Now, you, 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 you people are trying to, to, to outrun me here. Ushers, which people did you give the books to? Because the hands that are up are still 30 hands. You didn't get. Please, I need somebody to buy another 10. Because there are still people here who didn't have copies of a first book. You want to buy another 10? Please bring me another. This time I'm sharing myself. Some of you are being biased. The ushers. Bring, bring me the books. Bring me 10. I will share the book. I will, I will share the book myself. Give me 10. This two is not part. Bakum Yenum Yensa and Nine Enum Yensia Maka Bakum Edusa 10. Ha, man come bro from. Listen, if you don't read this book, I will make sure Papa appears in your dream every night. Hallelujah. Ushers, I'm still confused. The hands are more than 10. So which people did you give the books to? You didn't get some. Why may you are a son of this house? Please get up and buy five. Hallelujah. I'm sharing the book myself. Young man, I'm giving him because he's always the first man that will come here when we open the this this this. Give me an additional book. Give me dresser for occasion. I need to give you one more book. Okay. This young man, he's the first conquest conference punctual <laughs> congregant. Hallelujah. And Ketesia, Moto Data, Mudeta Moto, TikTok, Facebook, with the Mamra phone. That's the branch of Koto Data, Oto Data, Koto Bukunibi. Oto, me see me the ma and ketesia at the pamphlet for Moe's Catholic Moko Tobi Emirafon Qua Moto Data. Wow, to wow, Timito de Tabia Mobi Emirafon. I brought you in your beer pijamsa. We are Broya Cocra when you be a pijamsa. But oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, they are Cocra. Oh, oh, yeah, Cra. Oh, yeah, Cra. I'm Pedafon. I'm here. Wow, we should smartphone be a memo book. Toby. Oh, you are used to smartphone be a is an adult. Yes. Uh, as for Minister, Minister Prince, Kwame, please give me additional five books. Kwame, I will buy five books, then I will share. Because I still have five books here. Kwame, how much is five? Montreal, Kwame, you Kwame, will give me money for five books. Kwame, please take your five books and share. This is five books. Should I share it for you? Or you want to share yourself? Ah, Kwame, share. Put your hands for Kwame. Kwame is going to eat. No, you are paying for the five. <laughs> no, 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 no. Papa. I'm professor. I'll share for Papa. Give it to me. But your Emra, I probably will have money. Why will you see smartphone? You won't get the book. God bless you. Okay, let's put our hands together for the Lord. Are you ready for the man of God? Oh, I can't hear you. Is somebody ready? Are you ready? Oh, can we put our hands together? Let's be on our feet. It is time for us to receive the impartations that we have been expecting this morning hallelujah our father is a prolific author a philanthropist an international icon which by the grace of god had had opportunity to travel throughout the continent of this world not for fun not for entertainment but for the gospel's sake spreading the good news allowing himself to be used by god to touch lives and to turn destinies around 
Ladies and gentlemen, like he will say, no amount of works can introduce a man, but his works. And if you don't believe nothing at all, where you are, and what is happening in the land of Obuasi, and that you always say, it is not what you do that matters, but what, where you do what you do, is what matters. But what we are experiencing in Obuasi, if you don't believe nothing at all, his works are enough and introduces him more than any words. If you're ready for him, I want you to help me with your clap and your shoutings as we welcome the gentle Jack, the Apostle General of Obuasi, to bless us. Come on, put your hands together. Amen. You want to give all the glory to Jesus. You want to give all the glory to Jesus. Permit me to salute all the men and the women of God, our fathers and our mothers in the house. Let's always let's be on our feet and appreciate them. God bless you. Salute you all. God bless you. Amen. Please take your seats. And for those of you joining us from other parts of the world, you are most welcome. Um, there is something that is very, very important. And um, as I'm standing here um, as a leader, as a preacher, that is very present. The Bible says that a good father leaves inheritance for his children's children. And inheritances are not just materialistic. When you talk of inheritance, most times we think in terms of materialism. But inheritance are not materialistic. Because I've seen rich men who left billions, properties, to their children. And in less than two years, they sold everything. Even here in Obuasi. But I believe that the greatest inheritance any father leaves is legacy. His legacy. Somebody say legacy. This morning, Everything we are doing is very prophetic. And I pray that you don't take things for granted. You understand everything you are doing. Because I have no doubt that God is about making deposits in the life of his people. minister. Listen, there is nothing anybody has in life. There is nothing you have. There is nothing you are striving to have that nobody has. Meaning, whether I should, I should speak French or P or no. I said there is nothing you want to have. There is nothing you are striving to have that nobody has. Listen, in your life, there is this funny story about three people who went to the altar to pray. And one was crying, screaming, rolling on the floor. And whilst rolling on the floor, another guy came, tapped him on the shoulder. Ah, gentlemen, why are you disturbing God like this? Huh? Early morning like this, you have all come to pray to God, and you are disturbing God, with screaming, crying. What is it? The guy said, hmm, you don't know. I need some serious thousand. Please have your seat. Need some serious thousand dollars for some serious projects. So is that why you are disturbing us? Yes. So you are crying, rolling because of thousand dollars. He said, he reached out to his pocket. He said, take it up, move, get out. 
Then the guy moved. And when he moved, this other guy also knelt. He started praying. And so bumped him. Oh Lord, show yourself strong. Oh, everybody kasa. The guy was crying. Then another third person came, tapped him on the shoulder. Hey, master. What else do you want God to do for you? Why are you distract, disturbing God like this? Crying, yelling, everybody can hear you. The guy said, Master, you don't know what I'm going through. I need some ten thousand dollars for some serious or some urgent issue. He said, Ten thousand dollars, yes. The guy went to his car, brought him a bundle of ten. I said, Leave the church and go. Let me and God have our issues. That's what the one said. And this other guy who sat, gave the guy 10,000 also lied down said, Oh Lord, you must show up. Because he had a project and he needed about $10 million. So he was crying to God. And whilst in prayer, he had a call and the bank was ready to assist him, give him that money for the project. What am, I, what am I trying to say this morning? What am I trying to say this morning? There are some things that you are yearning, crying, craving, dying for. That somebody in a segment of a second without thinking about can give to you and that will be it. Bompire, Usu, a well rather so, said Radden Fadi, been done more. Sadia, that will soon a bompire two years, three years. No, will be betting a year now in two minutes. Abra and Yanifi. Do you believe that? Please help me because there, there are some, there are some serious things that are going to happen in the next few minutes. I'm telling you. showed me something here hey? and anybody who open up here eh, this morning this evening the kind of impartation you receive you yourself will be amazed do ask a saw also among the prophets because in a segment of a second the Lord will catapult you to a level of prominence and elegance that will not make sense to human beings. When you make a child, you went to Pepe Sobia. When you make a sound separate, when you make a sound dance here, when you make a sound Gina Brea, a baby power one. So, when you know, and I can't say no, now with Jimidia, semi in Yaminipa, Namin Kansi Muna, and Kabaso region and National Bonds, and Mama Yusu. Please sit down. Yeah. There are some simple, serious keys that work. the Lord wants me to hand over to somebody. Papa, please take a seat for me. Watch this. <laughs> hey, there is nothing. Let me say it again. There is absolutely nothing. Somebody's praying, Lord, I need $20 million. Lord, bless me. Do you know that 20 million dollars is a chicken money to somebody? I told you I, I, I wanted to do something for one of my sons. And it took me almost three years in Ghana, paying dollars, whatever, whatever. Family. One day I was talking to a woman who is in charge of a big corporation, actually an airline in Ghana, I don't want to talk to mention. So in the discussion, I said, ah, I need to do something. I said, ah, so for power, do you mean it? I said, I've paid this, I've sold this, I've been today, they've taken me to this court. I said, oh, sorry, I want no fool. You think it's only anointing you need? <laughs> me, I am powerful. I can do this for you in three days. I said, what do you mean? He said, now, send me on WhatsApp the bio data blah 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 of your son yes. in three days she called me she said check your phone she sent it to me the thing was there said it is done three days maybe three years 
and I didn't have to pay money. Tear me, everybody listen to me. Be and tear me. Especially the young and upcoming generation. There is a reason why God raised people and raised generations before us. There is the essence of predecessors. Can I talk to somebody? I woke up and the Holy Spirit just gave me a very simple assignment to be our heavier team. Today I want to talk about the word cooperation. Cooperation. Say cooperation. Let me say something. Papa, how do you get an orange juice? How do you get orange juice? The only time you get orange juice is when you put the raw orange in a squeezer. Then you press it. You suppress it. You add pain to the orange. And in some few minutes, the orange, the solid orange, is broken in pieces. Then it becomes juicy. Now, if we put the orange into the squeezer and start operating, if we can open our ears to hear the voice of the orange, you will hear that the orange is crying. Because no pressing is cheap. So the Ankato Ephidium. Now so oh press young cano, no one you juice nephew more. Maybe some catch us and cano. Send carbeten and yabun say, yeah, the affidian as you say blend it. Oh blend it. Okay. The voice or the noise of your blender is the voice of the item you put in. I don't know why clapping is free, but sometimes it becomes very difficult. So the tomatoes go blend them. Not a, it is not just the noise of the machine, but it is the voice of the item, the tomatoes or the garden eggs or whatever you put in because it is being pressed. Let's give it up for the man of God. Watch this. Watch this. Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? So, once you introduce the orange into the blender, the essence is to get orange juice. But the blender has a responsibility with its mechanism to break down the orange suppress the orange reduce it to nothing make it look useless but at the end of the day purpose is fulfilled in two weeks i blender no hey yeah daddy you know it's more thing you say what the uncanna said now blender daddy you know no tree and cano no tree no 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 and so we must ankano ne mo bro mo ni na mu no ankano and say ne mo ankano e be ye ankansuo hallelujah attend to them all right so this is what is happening please take your seat You say say and carry till morning. The orange says say blender need till morning, but the truth of the matter is, the blender is doing its work. That is always the relationship between fathers and sons, leaders and their subordinates. The Bible says he chastises those whom he loves, and at the time of the chastisement, it may not make sense to the son that is being chastised. Now, 
said what you want to do you are being denied but then the father knows that if you could be subjected to suppression if you go through some squeezing process if you can go through some breaking process at the end of the day you become juicy and your value is increased somebody shout cooperation shout cooperation amen I'm here prophetically because God is about impacting lives. In every generation, whenever God raises a man or a woman, the essence of that lifting is to multiply that individual, the grace on that individual. your seats watch this that is why I said the greatest legacy are not the material things you leave in the hands of your children but the legacy and none of a main certain thing but me can see the mood because the Lord is talking to me about cooperation say cooperation do you know that the language of heaven is cooperation the language of heaven is called operation that is why we have god the father god the son and god the holy spirit <laughs> hallelujah so god the father will declare his intentions in any time God the Father declare his intention it is his son his word anything God says it is his, and God said what God says is nothing but his son which is the word his name is the word of God and when God the Father declares his intention which is his word his son it is the work of the Holy Spirit to what to manifest to demonstrate who the son is oh come on somebody that is why when you come to church and the man of god says anybody sick of hiv anybody sick of this i send for the word of god be healed in the name of jesus let the power of god break you through set you free what he's doing is that he's declaring the word of the lord and when the word of the father is declared the holy spirit has the responsibility of making it manifest we have prayed for people millions of 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 times without laying hands yet the lord did his work somebody shall cooperation where there is no cooperation purposes would not be fulfilled where there's no cooperation purposes cannot be fulfilled one where there is no cooperation purposes cannot be fulfilled God tells Moses sorry Abraham Abraham I know you've been waiting for this promise for a long time but now I need your Isaac your beloved son at this time Isaac was not a baby he was a boy with some muscles there's somebody here Isaac was not a baby he was a boy with some muscles Isaac knew his left from right let's consider Isaac was a JHS student to the JHS students know things that their fathers don't even know and Abraham will look into the eyes of Isaac and tell him master let's go where are we going the mountain of sacrifice and Isaac knows that if you are going to the mountain of sacrifice there are some things you need to have they have the locks they have the knife they have the servant carrying the case they get to a point and then Abraham tells his servants every one of you stop here 
I and my son are going yonder. Nobody is going to go with us. It is left with the two of us. And the guy knew the purpose for that trip is for sacrifice. Now the locks are there. The knife is there. But going beyond where they are, there is no lamb for the sacrifice. Where is the animal for the sacrifice? So the son asked the father, where is the animal for the sacrifice? It is the offering asking the father a question. Your offering has a voice. That is why when Santa Obasaria, you have an offering 20. Do you have only 20, my five? Isaac could have chosen the moment he saw the knife, saw everything, and the father said, Let's go. Because Isaac knew that Abraham was a God fearing man. And that Abraham was a man that was ready to sacrifice anything for God. So the guy realized that mm, 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 Papa. So you see, he could have been tempted to think that if some of the servants were going with him, maybe he would sacrifice one of them. But this time, the two of them. So he said, Papa, where is the lamb? Where is the animal? Where is the sacrifice? We are ready to raise an altar. But how do we raise an altar without a sacrifice? Where is the sacrifice? Tell somebody, where is your sacrifice? Oh, somebody shall cooperation. Somebody shall cooperation. But Isaac, when he made that statement, Abraham said, My God is a provider. He will provide. Watch this. Immediately the father said that the guy did not say anything again. Today's generation, when the father or leader says one word, the subordinate or baby or child will say 20 words. Don't go, it won't help you. I didn't think I'm in Isaac did not say anything. <sighs> help me, Lord. The moment Isaac submitted, the moment Isaac humbled himself and received the word of his father, that my father is too mature. He has worked with God for a long time. He knows it's left from right. What he says is what it is. I'm not saying anything. Father, let's go. If our generation can humble ourselves to our pastors, our mothers, our leaders, our bosses, people that God have placed in our lives as authorities, there wouldn't be this much struggle. Ah, when prophet was saying yesterday, you guys thought he was joking. I've had people sit in front of me and I told them, the two of you, if you marry, the two of you, eh? If you decide to marry, you are done. It won't work. They walk out of church. You see, every genuine leader, genuine spiritual leader, will not compromise on speaking the truth. And sometimes truth is painful. No way, they can do baby a it is only truth that liberates. You shall know the truth, have the knowledge of the truth, and the knowledge of the truth shall set you free. Can I talk to you very well? Let me give you. dictionary says the action or process of working together to the same end working together to the same end the action or process of working together to the same end or the act 
of working together with someone or doing what they ask you. And a leader instructs his subordinates to do something. What the leader instructs them to do, they will do something else. They will do something else. Go and sweep. He said, I didn't sweep. I clean it. Go and tell the man to stay there. He said, he said you can stay or you can go. Oh, our generation. Somebody said, Lord, have mercy. We are a generation that don't pay attention to details. We are a generation that don't pay attention to details. No, no, the Nagini programmer. He already knows what he wants to do, not what you want him to do. And I'm going to show you how dangerous it is. Everybody listen to me. You can sit under a leader as a mechanic, as a seamstress, as a pastor, as as whoever, or in your area of, of, of expertise. But listen to this. If you can wholeheartedly, sincerely, humbly serve whilst learning, your humility can create an atmosphere for a release or impartation. I don't want to use the word impartation to sound so spiritual because I want to generalize it. You could, be, you could be a maid in somebody's house doing minia jobs. But the heart with which you serve, God can raise you and bless you more than your boss or your madam. Yes. Yes. Tell them to bring money. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Yes, mommy, catch on. Today we look at blessings. Listen, the Jesus asked them, there's no bread for you today. No, I'm not multiplying bread. There's nothing here. Are you following? All of them left. 12, 12, 5,000 people. The next day there were 12,000. They all left. And they left your disciples. Peter said, Yes, watch this. We didn't come because of what is in your hands. We came because of what is on you. That is the difference between Opa and Ruth. Opa was looking to the hands of Naomi, but Ruth was looking to the head of Naomi. It is not what he has. It is not what your madam has. It's not what your boy. It's not the car he drives. It's not the car, he, the, the, the house he lives in. It's not his traveling itinerary. It is not the kind of designer shirts or designer clothes. No, it is what is on him. What is on her? That matters. You are looking at their shoe, you are looking at their shirt, you are looking at their watch, you are looking at some things, you are looking at other things. When instead of looking into them, because whatever a man has physically is a product of what is in him. If you really want what is in me, look into me, because that is where it is coming from. Look into me. Don't look at me. Tell somebody, look into me. Don't look at me. Let's welcome my beautiful wife, the wife of my brother, Prophet Victor Kusibuatin. Hey, I thought it was morning service. Oh, let's be on our feet and appreciate Mama. God bless you. You wanted to surprise me. Okay. All right. Hallelujah. Are you getting it? It is not what you have in your hands that matters. All. So the Bible says that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Can I talk to you very quick? Because there's going to be a serious impartation. A man is carrying something. God has made deposit in the life of a man. And the 
essence I told you that your gift is never for you the essence of God placing that unction on you is to release it to somebody but who is that person and that is my assignment this morning the right atmosphere to create in order for impartation to be a reality can I make a statement cooperation is the right grounds for replication cooperation is the secret to replication hey for years na engineer one so no ba kokora nto so da ah baba yenyi na ka bible they has it should have carried the quadruple anointing of elijah because elijah followed elijah had a double portion Gehazi is following Elijah, so he must have a double portion of Elijah's, which is twice of Elijah's. So Gehazi's anointing must be quadrupled. But what did he end up getting? A curse. Because he followed with the wrong mind. In any wrong mind, Attract wrong hands. Katrina said, My wife been in a dream pack. Katrina says, So would you, my mate, would you lead a chi, would you software chi, would you boss a chi, my wife been in a dream pack? Can you imagine say, sometimes some, you employ people to work for you and they are praying that your business will collapse? So that they take over your pastor is praying that something happens to you the church will and the church members will follow you we employ somebody to work for you and in one month i think i was with Miss we bought the product from a woman in Kumasi. and they had to do some moment whatever whatever later on we realized that the young boy that was employed by the woman in less than two years or taught two cars two cars and there is a guy who sells car around that then he called the woman and said mama are you because me here this boy has bought two cars for me and the, the, the amazing thing is he pays cash and the last car he bought for me is seventy thousand Ghana cities this poor boy since he took over from your shop I don't see something's right. We bought some stuff. He demanded the thing be, to be sent to another. We called the woman. Then the woman said, Oh. He said, Ah, what sales have you made the week? Or say, and he said, I'm talking here. He said, Ah, but I remember that pastor from Obuasi. He said, Ah, and then you hear that. What a generation. You are working with your madam as a sister for that three years you are serving her. Eh? There is a spirit on your madam. There is an anointing on your madam. There is a grace on your madam. By the time you finish working that skills, you need to go with that spirit. A materialistic generation. So service has become an issue. Somebody shout cooperation. Somebody shout cooperation. Not until we get to that level where there is that cooperation between the higher authority and subordinates, between the old generation and the new generation. Let me tell you this we are in serious trouble this morning i told you in your preaching god gave me a word a prophetic and i wish we have especially young and upcoming ministers here in exodus 17 the bible talks about the Amalekites entering into battle 
Moses, the leader, the anointed man, is now aged. Come here, look at me. The guy is aged, he's grown old. But the guy is carrying grace. Watch this. It is not muscles that win the battle. <laughs> it is grace that wins battles. It is not money that wins the battles of life. It is grace that wins battles of life. Until the American. And the Bible says that this guy's grand. And Moses told Joshua, he said, Joshua, got that strong man. Because we are we got to do this battle. Good men around you and let's go do the battle so they invited Aaron and her and he said me at my age now even if I want to walk you need to help me even if I want to sit sit I can't sit long but watch this there is no way you can win this battle without grace you have the skill you have the expertise you have the exuberance you have the energy but the only way you win it is when you are backed by grace who have said i have my own money i want to do my business i want to travel to america i want to do this brother what brother i'm going to tell my pastor for what I'm not speaking long. Maybe something God showed me in the Bible. I'm shocked. There's going to be a serious impartation. Let me tell you this. I have 10 years to almost complete my assignment here. Three months after my marriage, God said, I'm sending you out as a repairer of the bridge to raise the foundation to many generations and to build, rebuild desolate places. So when I'm in Obasi, I'm not doing my work like any pastor. I have a mission. Then first day I entered to Obasi, I said, I meet me to one day. That was what I was, I was thinking. Watch this. What is on a man could be transferred to his subordinates or the people that God surrounds him with is what I'm showing you. Cooperation. Watch this. Moses said, I am here. I have the anointing. I have the grace. But I'm weak in body. Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? I am weak in body. But the grace is upon me. Don't forget that he showed his acts and wonders to the children of Israel, but to Moses, his ways. But <laughs> if you really want to know a man, it's not his acts, his ways. The man has secrets. The secret to winning battles. The secret to meandering through circumstances. The secret to coming out refined, irrespective of the opposition and challenges you face in life. He knew God. He knew the ways of God. But here they are in the battle. That's one the old engineering. When we look what about the generations? The young generation. So he called the young generation. He said, Joshua. Now we read the scripture and Moses laid hands on Joshua and there was an instant impartation of wisdom. And sometimes we go preach somewhere, man of God, lay hands on me, lay hands on me. Let every anointing on you come on me. As if it's magic. Watch this. Study the Bible carefully. Joshua said and followed Moses faithfully, sincerely 
without any doubt. He said, God, I'm able man. And this is what happened. So, Moses is standing. Then he called Aaron. He said, so long as my prayer hands go up, victory will come to the children of Israel. But if my prayer hands go down, the Amalekites will defeat us. Ladies and gentlemen, the battle started. When Moses' hands go up, then they see victory among the children of Israel. When he start, his hands starts coming down, then the Amalekites start taking over. So they realize that something is not right. What do we do? The old man is weak in body. A man in Sasso Wabre. What do you do? Aaron and her have to stand. Can I get some Aaron and her? Right now. Come, 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 come quick. Left and right, come quick. Stand here. Hold my hands. When my hands go up, victory is coming for Boise. When my hands go down, the enemy is taking charge and at my age i don't have the useful exuberance to lift my hands i don't have that energy to stay my hands up for more than 10 minutes so how do we win and the only way we win is when my hands are up but i still have some youth i still have some energetic young guys i still have some people who have what it takes so what happens i have the spiritual enablement i have the spiritual capacity i have the revelation i have the grace but there must be and help me and so long as they can help me and lift my hands up victory is won let me tell you sometimes you think you are too intelligent you have cvs you have connections you've done a lot of how do you call it uh, uh, courses you are an academic academian we understand yeah, you really understand but let me tell you this I met a guy in America. He was a first class medical student in Legon. All his mates are not my born training in they were working. But that guy alone for seven years, mommy, still struggling in America. No job. Let me tell you this. You can never underrate or under, underestimate the power of spirituality in whatever you do. And someone wants to say, sharp cooperation. Watch this. Watch this. Look at me. You two look at me. Now, when you look at my direction, especially being taller than you, where, where do you see? Where do you see? I'm fit. Can you hear? Can you hear? I'm fit. <laughs> my motto. You two, where do you see? My motto. Watch this. The assignment. Is to make sure that my hands go up because when my hands go up we will win the battle but once on duty there are other things that can distract them especially my motto ah! the smell from my armpits the unsaved head standing in the sun for a while you will sweat and no sweat, no scent of a sweat is, is pleasant. In fifth, there be anywhere any kind. So you can imagine what her and Aaron are dealing with. The assignment is to make sure my hands go up. But there are other things they are dealing with. But the most important thing is to stay focused. If they allow the other things, they will leave me alone. Focusing on making sure my hands are up. Hey, Papa, I'm not from the end of you. Hey, Papa. I'm not sure you are. Papa has not been shaving. No. I'm not sure you are. 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 I'm not sure you
some of you when you get close to your leaders eh? the assignment the reason why god placed you around your leader you miss it you focus on unnecessary things that was the problem of Gehazi they told Elisha aren't you wasting your time following this man instead of taking care of your fathership you have abandoned everything and you are following three million jobs some of you when you are serving your pastor when you are serving your leaders when you are serving your madam but you go to your madam and wash her things she sends you to the market she asks you to go and do some stuff for her children and your mates are telling you where jimmy who is here jimmy and i saw the son madam jimmy now when you mean who you answer And let me tell you this the only time you pass the test is when you ignore the other issues and stay focused why am i sitting under this man why am i working with this woman why am i in this company why am i in this church why am i working with this leader stay focused because whether you like it or not there will be many distractions Essence of distractions, distraction, D I S T R A C T I O N, is for distraction. When you get distracted, you get destroyed. That is why you see people work with un very anointed men, but they end up bazaar. You see people work with very rich men, but at the end of the day, Papa, you don't see why because when instead of learning about the principles which make the man work they are finding ways and means to steal the money I, am i talking to generations here am, am i talking to generations here hello 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 are you getting something are you learning something ask somebody what are you learning from your leader sit down for a minute for me <laughs> Watch this. Can, can I talk to you for some few minutes? Oh, Eradibo, I'm watching. My prayer is that in some few years we will see more anointed <laughs> businessmen, businessmen, <laughs> preachers, prophets, apostles, teachers, doctors, engineers in Obuasi. I have an assignment why I came here. pursue excellence and perfection that anybody around me knows that when i'm doing something for god i don't just do anything i make sure i do my best and do it excellently and perfectly that is my spirit either you stay close or go away can i talk to you there are three types of cooperation we have what we call seized seized cooperation we have voluntary cooperation and we have in, unintentional cooperation but I'm, I'm trying to God is telling me something there are a lot in my spirit that I need to pour oh tonight I see some strange healings I see some strange deliverances I see some strange impartations <laughs> Watch this. Seize it. Cooperation is when somebody is forced. You are forced to do it. Oh, um, 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 please bring me the bottle of water. As often, bring me the bottle of water. Try to hesitate. Force him. As often, bring me the water. No, no, I don't want to go. Tell him you don't want to go. So before he realized, my attention is on them. So the moment he realized that, hey, me who need your oil, no? he's forced to bring me in the water. But personally, he has no choice. He doesn't have an intention to do it. But because he is forced, he does that. 
can I talk to somebody? There are most of you where you 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 are forced to go to work. Next one person called you are forced. Most of you where you are sitting under your pastor, but you are forced to go to prayer meeting. You are forced to go to evangelism. You are forced to do what you have been called to do or what you have to do to serve. You are forced. Let me tell you this. If that is your case, you are far from impartation. The voluntary type of cooperation is when somebody willingly or willfully my brother Victor will say, ah, Mentias here. Why would Moses, living with Joshua, dies? And then heaven will have to come down and announce to Joshua, your master is dead. When the guy is in the same house with him. <laughs> come here, come here. They are in the same house. The master is dead. But heaven will have to come down and announce to him that your master is dead. Why? Because as far as he's concerned, his master is untouchable in whichever state he is he has to serve him so even if he's dead he still has to make sure until god says challenge stop it the guy is dead his focus is on service <laughs> humility I still come to this church and carry chairs I'm not shy to do this I don't think I've got into any level that makes me feel big to do certain things and all the workers know that me today as I'm standing here I arrange chairs because which you said my bad sorry chairs not be actually concave concave whatever I need anything everything straightened excellent perfect my ushers will tell you I walk in here and I call, hey, Tommy, come here. Why is this here? Why is that here? Why is I'm back here? If you don't have my spirit, then I have an excellent spirit. If I'm doing anything for God, it must be the best. Why do we have to force you to come to Reheza? Open your means. Open your means. If it's a, if it's a season cooperation it means they have to force you we have to force you to come and pray force you to go to pastor's meeting force you to fast force you to do whatever you do please tell somebody forget it the wife now american in team can't forget it don't you forget it and people come papa please <laughs> papa please lay hands on me hey my man can chill receive it receive it receive it ah! do you think what it is the only time the laying on of hands by the right person on your life works is when you have created the right atmosphere with service and in what what i called voluntary cooperation elijah said elijah said elijah to the extent that the sons of the prophets were to the word jimmy where jimmy where jimmy where jimmy From better from Jericho, from Giga, from all the way, Jordan. Where Jimmy? This man you are following. Very soon you will go away, and you are wasting your time. What future do you have? Opa told Ruth. He said, "Ruth, hey, name, names have serious influence. Oh. You know the meaning of Opa? Fun. F W N. F F F A W N. Men pleaser. When your friend says me, I'm not coming to church. You want to please your man, so." you start coming to church because your friend is not coming so that was opa's problem it could have been opa in the genealogy of christ but for compromise she pleases people 
you please people against God's will. She said, Mama, I have considered everything you are saying. Even at this age, if miraculously I conceive and have a baby, and the baby even comes out, eh, how long is the baby going to grow? And how long am I going to wait for this baby to grow so I can marry the baby? Can I talk to you? When you allow the enemy to give you facts and figures, those facts and figures will frustrate your future. Facts and figures say and this is what happened. This is the history. Your history can amputate your destiny. It is a fact that cancer killed your grandfather. It is a fact that nobody has succeeded in first marriage. It is a fact that nobody has built. But the truth is, God is raising a man. God is raising a woman to break that curse, to become what? A history maker and a record breaker. That is the essence of the impartation. That do it, nobody has been able to achieve in your family. You are the first. He said, the easiest way to break curses in your life, to switch, is to connect. That is the, the thing. Somebody shall divine connection. And one of the easiest ways to connect is service. Let me humbly say this. Every, I told you, every, every great name in the kingdom in Ghana, some of them, I don't have personal relationship with them. Some of them, I can go to them. Some of them, some way through uh, 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 connections, I get. But every, every heavyweight name, every father of the land of Christianity in Ghana, I, by the grace of God, I have had connect. Some of them, I connect through my seed. Some of them, I find people close to them, my seed. Some of them, I go to them myself. Some of them, I, every, I'm not in all humility. Do you know why? The Bible says that a threefold cord cannot be easily broken. I'm fortifying myself. Why? They carry something I don't have. They have thrived. They have, they have been through. They have survived things. And I told you yesterday. That you see. What confirms the presence of God is what you are, what you are able to survive. Presence of God doesn't always mean money. Doesn't mean manifestation. No, 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 no. no. If something could kill somebody in a day and you can survive it for 10 years, it's a confirmation that God is with you. God is with you. Catherine, I said, God is with me. I know you are not married. I know you have been believing God, trusting God for something. It's not coming here. But let me tell you this. Some people don't have a, a quarter of that experience. They are already in the psychiatric hospital. But you are still alive. Who did he? Sometimes I call to me, don't watch it five seasons. Now this is cut off. And so, so now, oh, oh, just here. you still have appetites for things you don't even have money for. It's a blessing. Come on, give it to Jesus. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. Can I talk to you? Cooperation is the mode of operation in heaven. Is the mode of operation. There is nothing heaven does outside cooperation. Jesus said, Father, I am about to go. The people you entrusted to my care, I place them in your hands. Let them be one so that the whole world will know that they are free. Now, anytime we talk, you see, let me tell you this. Watch this. If we're students of the Bible, whenever the Bible preaches, talks about love, and whenever we preach love, we are talking about cooperation. What is love? Love is long suffering. Love is patient. Love is kind. So it is not a matter of how you look. It's not a matter of where you are coming from. But for the sake of love, I just I still have to accept you. Cooperate with you. And move with you. Embrace you. Accept you as you are. That is what we call what? Cooperate.
you are following a leader but you are not cooperating you are disintegrating that is what the devil did there was a serious cooperation between Adam and Eve and God but when the enemy came don't forget my message misinterpretation he said that cooperation must break and how does it break he must misinterpret so you are following a leader when your leader says something you misinterpret you miscontrol what he has said and some of you you can sit in church and once you your believer is preaching a very powerful message then go hey and then the other man sorry when a papa do preach you and then the other night topic and then the other night topic and then the other yes a one man sorry yeah people can even come to church and read meanings into the messages and tell the type of rather <laughs> somebody's a mercy are you ready for invitation yeah god is looking for young men to bless to anoint for serious impactation for serious results can i speak prophetically we are we are coming to an end of an era we are coming to an end of an era and it's not just for us we are coming to an end of an era where hypocrites will not find their rhythm because there will not be space for you there will not be a spot for you god is either coming for the ones that have the pure heart for they can see god they that are pure in heart they see what you are following a leader and you are praying for his trouble you are following a leader and you are selling him you are following a leader and you are telling people stories fabricated stories that are not even true unfounded what say you leader what say you madam what say you boss what say a human he's sitting working with you and when there's a contract coming then he will divert the contract and give it to a friend somewhere now say will be the what a generation somebody shall cooperation the only time the impact of grace the only time there could be a replication the only time what is on a leader can come on you is when there's core operation meaning say if i'm making sense to somebody can i talk to you can i talk to you forgive me today today is the last day for the morning session and some serious things are happening in the next five ten minutes some of you hey do you know that sometimes as a preacher i've been led to do things that didn't make sense to me i've said it. i was preaching in Bergamo, italy and the woman was sitting on the front row like this also for me preacher then the holy ghost said hit her in the lower abdomen second time third time i was struggling the lord said hit her so as let's all be stand upstanding so i see if i'm going uh, then i hit her Pine. she fell i said bring her again she he said three Pine. they brought her again Pine. they brought her again do you know what was happening i me papa i didn't know why i was just obeying the voice of the spirit mama not knowing she's missed her menses for nine years she's not pregnant a nigerian lady she said man of god they take my blood every week and the least i pay and i'm talking of how many years ago the least i pay every week is 150 euros i'm even short of blood i'm not pregnant watch this four hours after that hit she said she was in the it was a sunday she felt a push and when you go to italy they have this squatting the beauty so she said she felt like not sitting on, on, on the WC, but to squat the first cloth like this they captured it a 
and brought it to church. First cloth like this, the race of a man's and came by. Second cloth, a mini one, by. Third cloth. Don't forget, I was instructed to hit three times. Watch this. When, 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 watch this. Whenever you come to church, whenever you are in such a saturated atmosphere like this, whenever you are in the presence of, whenever you sit under an anointed, truly anointed person, let me tell you, you need to be very sensitive. Come and sit on my chair, please. That's why I can't come. Watch this. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. That is why you see it is dangerous for our generation. I was talking to uh, Prophet Ladison. It is dangerous for the nation how we handle the prophetic. Because honestly, one of the ministries that don't make sense is the prophetic to the natural man. You will receive an instruction. How can Jesus call a blind man, spit on the ground? the spittle with the clay touch the eyes of the blind man and the eyes doesn't even open right there he asked him go and swim in the pool of Salem does it make sense to you be sensitive cooperate with the spirit and if you can easily cooperate with the spirit you would be able to cooperate with your leaders and the authorities God placed in your hands for lack of time Let, let's go to first samuel i haven't opened a scripture let's go to first samuel give me just five minutes today forgive me forgive me because you need to get this first samuel chapter three can you can you project the scripture first samuel chapter three i want to show you something are you understanding cooperation are you understanding cooperation why the blender who squeeze the, the the tomatoes and the tomatoes is crying when you hear the sound of the blender it is the voice of the tomato it's crying but the blender is making it juicy when your father is disciplining you, when your leader is giving instructions that are tough for you, one say, oh, wow, that's what the Bible says, we should spare not the rod of correction. That's what the why. Because no discipline is what? Easy. And exciting. The chastisement of the Lord. He chastises those whom he loves. First Samuel, can we read? Now the boy Samuel ministered to the Lord before Eli, and the word of the Lord was rare in those days, and there was no what widespread vision. Okay, very quick, very quick, very quick. I wish I'm preaching to a software, especially power the young and upcoming, those who want to be in ministry. And listen, it's not for them alone. If you want to be an entrepreneur, whatever you are doing, every one of us is a potential leader. And I've told you that a leader is our leadership is influence. You influence the most introverted individual in life, influences at least 10,000 people in his lifetime. You influence people. It is either a positive or negative influence. The negative things you do and say, people are watching. The positive things you do and say, people are watching. So you are influencing people. That is leadership. So pay attention. There is a serious revelation. Watch this. He said, and it came to pass. And why Eli was sleeping in his place? Now go back. Go back to verse 1. Go back to verse 1. Now the boy someone ministered to the Lord before Eli. The boy someone ministered to the Lord before Eli. And in those days, the word was rare. It was precious in those days. And there was no open or widespread vision. I can stay here. And no, no, no. Ah, the boy is ministering to the Lord. It is a connection between Eli and God. But the Bible says, before Eli. Samuel is serving God. Someone is doing the will of God. Someone is doing the work of God. He's following God. But the Bible says, before he was ministering, he was supposed to minister to the Lord. But before, 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 also you want to know God. You will know God through a man. Yeah. That is not that is not the issue. Long story short, 
this Eli we are talking about at this time at the time we are talking about was in apostasy everybody more some of you you are 26 some things you can say to a 47 58 70 year 60 year old man or woman you don't even think about it you think you just use words <laughs> am i teaching right someone ministered to the lord before eli okay continue and the bible says in those days the word of the lord was very rare and there was no open vision Shh. there was no what there was no odds okay so let me let me let me let me throw light it means that there was something new to be birthed there was no open vision in those days and the word was rare and Samuel was ministering to the Lord it means God is announcing I am about to do something yes, I am about to do something it is not common sense. Remember not the former things. Did I consider the things of so uh, God is about to do that new thing is yet to spring for Isaiah 43 verse what 18 to 19. God is about to do a new thing in our lives. God is about to do a new thing in our body. God is about to do a new thing in the kingdom. And he's busily selecting men and women who understand the move of the spirit and can submit. It's not easy to follow God. Though. Sorry, all the time. Three months after marriage, we left Kumasi. Three bedroom house, F3, broke room. Came to Obuasi, no money to rent a room. Stayed apart for seven months. Yeah. Ministering to the Lord. In ministry, <laughs> there are some sufferings, there are some ch challenges. There are some trials. Can you pass? Young guys, more heavy. You hear me say, "Who said new car? Your license is GV." Me say, "Nine nine is in not three by force. Nine nine ninety years." Material, materialistic generation. Ministering before the Lord. Ministering to the Lord before what? Eli. If you want to see God, you will see God through a man he places in your life. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. This is the problem we have. This is the problem we have. Now, when we are close to leaders, eh, every leader is not an angel. Every leader is human. No matter who the person is, no matter whether the person is a spiritual leader or political leader or leader in any capacity every leader is human and every leader has flaws and frailties but what is happening is for lack of insight and revelation subordinates rather take advantage of the flaws and the frailties of their leader instead of covering because the weakness and the flaw and the frailty of your leader is in fact your responsibility there are some people everybody listen to me if you're a leader and you never accept blame for things that go wrong even in your absence you are not ready to grow even in your absence when some things go wrong accept responsibility <laughs> can i talk to you i want to finish this scripture me and Mompais is here. Forgive me today. I, I, I need to finish. Go, 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 go. It was real. Listen, God was about to do something new that, hey, 
you are the first person to count billions in your family you are the first person to sit in the plane in your family you are the first person to build a three story building in your house in your family hey 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 you are the first person to start your own company you are the first person to break that case i said you are the first person to break that case but listen before it becomes a reality you must connect to god through a man there was something new about happening there was something new about happening but there was the need for a man <laughs> and we are not talking about a perfect man we are talking about an imperfect man we are talking about a man with issues we are talking about listen <clears throat> tell me tell me tell me tell me we are even talking about a man god has left Shh. watch this it is very dangerous to play with the weakness of your leader Oh, your madam has an issue and and you have an idea how you can you can cover your madam send it by your baby but you are rather taking advantage of the flaws and the weakness on the business and also the year business god had left this man but watch this god was calling somewhere for a new move for hello for a new anointing for a new thing but he still needed a man and not just a man a man god has left something happened one day i don't know if you remember i traveled she picked me up from kumasi airport i had about four or five luggages we got to santase there was this there's this sweet bread at me pepper so i asked her to stop to buy that bread the top panel here now the moment i sat in the car this old man came stood by the car not smiling with a very strong face my mommy left I was like ah then he can I then immediately the Holy Ghost says shut up then I told mommy because I think I was driving I told her, I said mommy can you get down arrange if we can rearrange the luggages and create a space for this man and I said daddy can you my man and she patrol my yem premium KBB my want now why then he was still standing look at me quiet says then we created a space give him some place to sit we drove from santasia almost to kokobing then he said i will drop here he said, oh daddy but where are you going he said i'm going this far he pointed to the right not just do the of the main road you know kokobing said oh go inside her baby then i said daddy unfortunately we are on our way to Obuasi. And we no, may not be able to drive. He's 70 or above 70. In fact, we may not be able to send you there. But daddy, please take this and take uh, how do you call it? Drop in and go. Do you know why? Then all of a sudden, the man's countenance changed. I will never forget this. He said, Unyame do you know what what happened eh? i don't know what the lord wanted to teach the two of us but god sent the man to come and teach me a lesson then he started prophesying he started blessing he started saying what the man was trying to tell us is that there was no space but we had to force ourselves to create space let me tell you there are some people here you don't have space in their lives but when the need arises create space for them in fact Eli was not in God's plan but for Samuel to zoom into the new season and to be in that realm he had to create space 
tell somebody create space. Catch and say, we are too big. Catch and we are too big. We are too known. We are too sure. So you can't create space. Master, 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 come, 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 come. And it came to pass that while Eli was lying down in his place, and when his eyes had began to grow so dim that he could not see, this man of God, his eyes are growing dim. But don't forget that the Bible says that there was no open vision. He is lying in the same place. He is lying in the same place. The same place. Do you know what is called tradition? Tradition. 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 Tradition has messed up a lot of lives, a lot of ministries, a lot of families. Tradition. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Quick, 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 quick. And before the Lamb of God go back, the Lamb of God went out in the temple of the Lord where the Ark of the Covenant was and someone was lying down. Go. Samuel was so hot lying down that the Lord called Samuel and he answered him here am I watch this go so he ran to Eli who called him who called him who did he run to who called him who did he run to who called Samuel who called Samuel who did he run to who called Samuel are you sure is that what you read who called Samuel no. But who did he run to? Eli. So he ran to Eli and said, Here I am, I am, for you called me. And he said, I did not call. Lie down again. Go ahead. And he went and lay down. Then the Lord called yet again someone. So someone rose and went to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. He answered, I did not call. My son, lie down again. Go again. Now, someone did not yet know Aha Nayame Deno. Now, someone did not yet know the Lord, nor was the word of the Lord yet revealed to him. Mama, can you believe that God is calling somebody? for a new assignment a new revelation and the person God is calling doesn't know God and the assignment that was God giving him is through his word and the word is not even revealed to him yet okay that is why I can confidently and boldly stand here as one that has been sent to this place on a mission that it doesn't matter your state God can use any one of us for anything listen don't let people use credentials educational status whatever to look down on you as much as education is important it is not the ultimate don't let anything physical restrict place an embargo on your prophetic destiny because whatever God wants to do with your life he can do it Watch this. He didn't know the Lord. Obisi, Papa, Obisi, nyame be shirame. Nyame bank account to run. We mean you. You don't need to have bank account to be blessed. God can give you a billion dollar in a day, and banks will come after you to open account. Oh, come on, somebody. Hey, 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 somebody. let the word deceive you today the word is making you believe that you need to get this in order to have this you need to get this to get here you need to do this to that in the realm of the spirit listen in the kingdom the systems of operation are different god can bypass protocol and do that which pleases him I, i'm talking to somebody here yes verse 8 maybe this is here and the Lord called Samuel again the third time so he arose and went to Eli and said here I am for you did call me the rest then 
I'll meet only pastors and we'll talk about I'm finishing here. When he went to him the third time, said, Ah, no, 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 Fleming. Papa Eli, what Fleming? It was God calling. He said, No, I have not called you. Bible says, somebody shout, then Eli perceived. Say, then Eli perceived. Again, then Eli perceived that the Lord had called the boy. Verse 9. Watch this. Oh, therefore Eli said to someone, Go lie down, and it shall be if he calls you that you must say, Speak, Lord, for your seven years. So someone went and laid down in his presence. Watch this. So all this while now you are somewhere, and someone runs to Eli, and Eli says, I've not called you. All this while there was something someone needed to say, there was something someone needed to do that will create an atmosphere and win God's attention for his agenda to be achieved. That was to say, speak, Lord. Would someone know this? Can I talk to you? The defining moment of someone's prophetic ministry was when the Bible said, and Eli perceived. And Eli perceived. And Eli perceived. Can I talk to you? You are intelligent, pa. You are beautiful, pa. You are smart, pa. You are well connected, pa. But let me tell you this sometimes it doesn't take your connection it doesn't take your technical know-how it doesn't take your smartness it takes some experiences because listen there are some roads there are some ways there are some things some people have been through and they can tell you when you get to this junction stop when you get here pause you go and challenge them can i talk to you can I talk to you? You are going to man. I love me. I love him. You do you know love. I, I love her. I I love her. Ne papa ka no take your time. I love her. Ne bibi ya. Infatuation. You looking at the Coca Cola bottle shape. Coca felic. Tuntum felic. The guy just came from America. He has a good job. He has money. So the mother sees something he doesn't see. She doesn't see. The father sees something he doesn't see. The elder sees something he's trying to tell you. Pause. I'm not. I'm not destroying your agenda. But you pause and wait. Something happened years ago in this church. Somebody brought a guy. In fact, the guy was a preacher. And I remember I was about traveling. I told us I'll be away for two months. Wait. When I come, uh, three days. We were hanging him for a We were hanging. Why? Papa, Obama no person worry. Na say to you, ye de gantua eba. So one day I told mommy, mommy, se man hwa anyen ko fo be ka se gekura me girlfriend no. So I caught three of my elders. And I said I want you to be witnesses to this. This girl is embarking on a journey and me as a pastor, do you know what I did? They came to me in the office and I'm saying, "Let's go to the house so I made them follow me and I know mommy's prophetic grace so I called her and I'm saying oh the moment she came up she said ah where from this guy and I'm saying where from this guy I'm saying there's something about the guy my spirit detests so I needed the confirmation, I had it. Then we called the lady. I will not forget. Red, red. We were at stadium. Then we sat on the floor. Me and mommy. And the lady was with us. We sat on the red carpet like this. When I used to stay in stadium. And we were eating together. So when we were eating, then we were using wisdom. Charlie. That is what continue here. My daddy took two, two, two months. Then your mom pay can you check in your baby car? Oh, now the guy says he's going to Bible school in wherever. So we have to do it in blah blah. Whatever we did didn't work. So I told my elders, this is the situation. 
never ever blame me when anything happens and be my witnesses long story short long place short exactly the very first day they married the very first day eh? i said the what the very first day they married my daughter told me papa after our first sex the guy told me i'm a witch and for one month she couldn't tell anybody i asked mommy to go and see were you very fair colored i said ima because we'll be on that prison one month married to a pastor a man of god locked up in a room being molested mishandled we gave a signal by love see something she didn't see and do you know do you know do you know them she had a revelation and called prophet one of prophet i won't mention the name and told the guy and the prophet said have you told papa he said no he said ah now that was the revelation show for ten man not bema nechin in april the guy has saw all over the back i mean big saw and the guy is asking her to use her raw hands to scratch i said ah who is that guy you had a revelation about i said a guy i want to marry i said have you discussed with papa you know to go and tell papa you are going the wrong direction she didn't tell me after the incident then the prophet said ah but this girl is you this is ABCO, and I told her to come in. Oh, I'm a car. Okay, it is a blessing. You see, we need penine be. It's always a blessing to have leaders ordained by God in your life. Can I take this and away from me. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Do you know what he said? Can you be on your feet for me? Watch this. In fact, I haven't said cut her off. I'm now. This is this is this is not my message. I haven't said anything. But let me say something quick to help all of you. Yeah. Bible say, and Eli perceived. Somebody shout it. Eli shout it. Eli shout it. Eli shout it. Eli Sister, I'm Whoa, whoa. Where we invest? In fact, why your masters? Why your PhD? Oh, mommy, we need schoolmates. We need classmates. So you feel that oh mommy name answer. You have your PhD, yes. And there are people God has placed in your life, eh? They see some realities about life. It is not about school. And anytime they decide to, to straighten you up, anytime they decide to give you counsel, you ignore them because they are not what educated. Papa, I'm asking myself if Eli had not perceived. Okay, mama, cut a date. God will still be calling somewhere. Do you know why some of us, our calling has delayed? Our blessings have delayed? Because you have not had the right person to tell you exactly what to do. There is a blessing. There are doors. There are things God wants to do in your life. Eh? But because you have met, you haven't met the right person sin god has sent your way tonight get ready to tell you exactly what to do and where to be life has become a struggle you are too intelligent you are too educated you are too beautiful you are too smart set Having money doesn't make you wise. Having things doesn't make you great. In life, eh, you can have things. Excuse my language. Any foolish person can bump into things. Having things doesn't determine greatness, but growing into things determines greatness. Don't you ask anything about sex?
into all oh, you are pursuing. Oh, who said, oh, who said, me because one and any, yeah. All the hate is to see that God is blessing another person today, even amongst pastors. When they see that his brother's church is doing well, when they see that things are going on well, when they see that his brother now does it always have to be you? Now, see, like Addison was saying yesterday, listen. I, aren't you even thankful to the Lord that the Lord is lifting your brother or your sister or your 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 your, your co-mate or classmate? Aren't you thankful to the Lord? <laughs> Recently, I went somewhere. It's a very tough place, and I wanted to pack. They said they won't allow me. I, I told the security guard, tell the guy, Prophet Victor, because see Barton's brother is standing here. Then one of the guys came in and said, Oh, Papa, Papa is Papa's brother. They opened it for me. We are dread to We are dread to Hey, you see, God did not give you everything you need to be to be fulfilled. The rest, He gave it to somebody. That is why everybody needs somebody. to you and he perceived let me ask you let me tell you, let me tell you something I'm, your destiny is in the hands of perception who is going to perceive who perceives the moment I perceived that this is God he said Barry, go lie down when it comes again say to him speak Lord thy servant hear it watch this oh, what's it a term a term a term a term a for i ain't him she said they sweat in and i'm sure you know some of friends saying and no number and okay let me tell you this let me tell you this god's principles don't change but his methodologies change principles don't change but his methodologies change oh speak lord speak lord the ally will need man no but let me tell you that that principle did not change it was still the same principle that brought Samuel into limelight a foot will have an adima won't go school no yet you are here there are some people God has placed in your life. Oh, I see God impacting people. I see the anointing of the Holy Ghost lifting people, changing your position, changing your levels, bringing you to limelight, place of prominence, making your life count. Not only to your family or community, but to the world. Can you lift your hands? Can you lift your hands? Watch this. There is a disconnect between the old generation and the new generation. I didn't touch it. I was talking about cooperation. There was the need. Even though the anointing had left Eli, but there was the need for a cooperation between Eli and someone. Yeah. And in fact, it takes humility to cooperate. And I told you there are three types of cooperation. Session. I didn't even talk about that. The voluntary. The one that you willingly or wishfully. The, the, we have the intentional what? <laughs> cooperation. Intentional. Don't you? That is where you meet your comrades. Eh? Who wants to say on the night? So you are fool. And I say, oh. Just one more imagine say, let's go gank against this guy. This guy, eh? You want to finish him. So this guy becomes your enemy. He's this guy's enemy. So you have a common enemy. And for that matter, you may end up agreeing on things as to how to finish this guy. So it's an intentional cooperation. Unintentional cooperation, sorry. So you are cooperating because you have a comrade. There are three people. Either your confidant, your constituent, or your comrade. Your confidant is somebody you trust in him, somebody, and your constituent is somebody you are the same church, the same political party, the same group organization. Yes, open as by more. But your comrade is having a common enemy. So sometimes there could be an unintentional cooperation. But the kind of cooperation God 
intends for you is voluntary. Free woman. 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 I don't, I don't feel you this one. Can't you say free woman song? All guy now, Bono. Free woman a book. And you now, what to know? Free woman a book too. Now, me, man, cross her and went a better. And some man, we answer. I saw definitely a pastor friend. Wait, now, pastor, I'm telling you. I'm a mini taxi. Hey! Because of a ball gun. What a generation. Or your author. Or your or your or your instrumentalist. Or your wine. I was here two years. Your boy and some man and son and my also here. What you you've been called to do? You need to be pampered. That is not voluntary cooperation. Somebody. Your destiny is connected to somebody's, and the person must perceive right. Can you lift your hands? You are praying to God. Or say, Lord, anything that becomes an obstruction and stops me from serving voluntarily, anything that stops the right cooperation you set in my life, I dip your life. Anything the enemy will use as a weapon to stop it. As I clap my hands, it is my season and my day for divine connection for impartation. I break it. Clap your hands and break it. Clap your hands and break it. Clap your hands and break it. Them say the American one thing I say. You probably don't get it. The, the the bridge between the old and the new, the gap, sorry, between the old and the new must be bridged. Eh? There's a new breed of well singed God is raising. And I told you on Sunday when I started that God showed it to me. That is going to raise unassuming people, anoint them, bless them, and use them. He takes the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. Addison came, he confirmed, and there were people in this room. And I said specific things. He came to, he was not here. Let me tell you this, don't joke. Some of you standing here, see a candy in your in your life in the next one, two, three years. But listen, you are in the right atmosphere, listening to the right message to get you prepared. Watch this. Watch this. There is a disconnect between the old generation and the new generation. And watch this. There is no way God can operate and the purpose of God will be fulfilled here on earth when there is a disconnect. If you're a student of the Bible, it will never happen. That is why Jesus said, I did not come to destroy the Old Testament. I came to what? Perfect it. I didn't come to destroy. I came to perfect it. Watch this. When Jesus wanted to feed 5,000 men, 5,000 men, he didn't have money. He didn't have anything, nothing to do that. But the Bible says the secrets to the deliverance, the secrets to meeting the need of the 5,000 men, the old generation, was on the shoulder of a boy. And the only reason why they had it is because the boy was not supposed to be there. The boy came to the meeting, but he was not supposed to be there. It was 5,000 men gathering. Boy, neighbor, here they are. I'm paying for this, you are Are you getting me? Listen, you think you are, you are younger, you are in the right place, doing the right thing. <laughs> Lift your hands. Say in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Please say it with confidence. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Anything the enemy will use. Anything the enemy use to obstruct 
obstruct, obstruct my prophetic purpose, my prophetic purpose. And, to me and to disconnect me from my old generation from, my my old generation. generation. from the men from from the the man. God has placed in my life in the name of Jesus by reason of divine connection of divine I crash I, crash. I, destroy. I destroy I dismantle I, dismantle. I, revoke. I revoke and reverse every plan every of the enemy of the enemy clap your hands and pray in the name of Jesus Clap your hands for two minutes. Clap your hands for two minutes. Clap your hands for two minutes. Clap your hands and pray. Come on, clap your hands and pray. In the name of Jesus, anything to frustrate and to distract you. For lack of time, the last prayer you are praying. Listen, your ally may not be handsome. Your ally may not have money. Your ally may not have any educational background. Your ally may not be a popular person. Your ally may not be a decent person or may have semblance of prosperity or anything. But your ally is your key to your next level. Watch this. Watch this. We are praying. Yeah? Anything. Some of us are arrogance. Some of us are misinterpretation. Some of us are ignorance. Some of us are, are external voices to miss your ally. We. We. And sometimes the way you perceive people. No, no man after the flesh. We greet people by appearance. You are praying. Anything that will be a block, a standing block, anything that will deny you access to contacting your ally, because ally has a spirit of revelation that brings you into the realms of perception. That is the defining moment of your destiny. Some of you, your ally, you don't need uh, just one touch. Your ally. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Your ally doesn't have to speak. He doesn't have to give you money. He doesn't have to do anything. All your ally needs to do. That's all Eli has to do. Your Eli doesn't need to say anything. Take it. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Listen. Your Eli doesn't have to give you certificates. One word. The touch of the hand of your Eli can change everything about your life and you'll never be the same mm -hmm. lift your hands I don't lift your hands I see an angel removing your clothes, putting a new clothes. Give me oil. Give me oil. Take it. Shalabarosh. Jesus, me for Jesus. 
I'm a song, yeah. Come, I call You are desiring something. Huh? The guy is desiring something. Or bomb pipe, not up a transfer of an anointing. Maybe what? Have you spoken to me? But when you lifted your hand, I saw an angel. And I want you to turn. Try it so be time when she has. Ten. Continue to do it. Ten. 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 Fan Bremen. Fan Bremen. I see the fire of God. Take it. That prayer is answered. That prayer is answered. That prayer is answered from today. That prayer is answered. Lift your hands. 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 Listen. The touch of the hand of Eli can break a curse. 70 yard case. Adasha, take it, your man. Take it. Nabadoshi. Take it. Shalabadoshi. Bring it, bring it, bring it. Bring it, bring it. Bring it. Take it. Take it. Oh, take it. Take it. Bring it to me. Bring it to me. As I touch you, listen. God is going to give you grace to make a decision. Watch this. There is a spirit that is responsible for making, uh, influence you to make a, a very critical decision that could jeopardize God's prophetic agenda. But as I touch you right now, as the hand of the Lord touch you, the Spirit of God will give you clarity and you have a revelation. And after that revelation, you will know exactly what to do. You understand what I'm talking about. Take it. He touched me. Take it. Take it. Take it. He touched me. And all that joy that fills my soul. Change it. Come, 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 come. Run to me. Run, run. Run to me. Lift your hands. Now, anybody that is called into ministry, take it. Something is going to happen. Osses, can you do your work for me? Bring it to me. Bring it to me. Can the Osses do your work very quick? Bring it to me. Lift it for me. Let there be a change in your direction. Prophetically. Now lift your hands. Shh. Lift your hands. Now, the next minute, I'm praying for anybody. Well, I need to also. God has called you into ministry. And anybody believing and trusting God for an entrepreneurial spirit, will be to me as on your own. you be You can be on your own. I reserve that energy. But tonight. The power of God will hit the house. Yeah. Sorry, man. This guy is going to manifest diverse kinds of anointings. 
And yet, dear me, man, he has prayed. He has prayed to receive the anointings of different men of God. Yes, dear me, man, he has really prayed and desired certain graces on some men of God. Yeah. And I see that she bring him back. Eh? Watch this man. A time is coming. One of the dangerous guys God will raise in Obuasi. Man. Man, Sasso. Man, Sasso. Don't pop man. When you But you But we fear thing. Who is that? But then, the entire process is one can one just here. I have a man in your life, and that will bring that curse that has clamped destinies in your family. Watch this. Watch this. Embark on a 21 day prayer and fasting based on what I'm telling you today. That if Adade Emmanuel is a man of God and you sent him. Whatever he has declared, reveal it to me and let me see. 21 days. And the least you are praying within the 21 days is three hours every day. After that, write everything you see. Everything you see. All the encounters you have 21 days. Write it and take notice of them. Come and see me. If it doesn't happen, Let it come out. Let it come out. Let it come out. Let it come out. Now, everybody called into ministry, run, run to me. We are young pastor. You want God to use you. You want whatever. First, firstly, I want to pray. For. Come, 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 come very quick. Stand, go down. Go down, yes. Go down. Okay? Be serious. Be serious. You know you are called into ministry. Lift your hands in 30 seconds. Please take my wives away from you and the men of God. Please take them away. No more question. Please take them away. All the senior ministers, please. Patch up, man. Please move them. Move them. Move them to the side. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Yeah. God is not just raising preachers. Oh. Preachers that are blessed with revelation, with financial favors ministers of affluence and influence Amen. ministers whose impact will be felt Amen. I'm telling you if any one of you here will open your spirit I saw myself my brother the Tokusi button and prophet Addison standing on the mountain holding hands like this and the Lord said anything you declare I will honor I will honor Listen, some of you, fresh anointings, some anointings and ministries you have never experienced before. You think you have a healing ministry, you haven't seen anything. You think you have teaching, you think you have, there are some latent gifts, they are going to be explosive from now. Water, lift your hands. Say, Lord, impact my life through divine connection with the grace on this commission. In the name of Jesus, for this purpose, I am here. For this purpose, I am here. Anoint me with fire. Anoint me with fresh fire. Let every gift, let every gift be activated. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Take it. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. Let every gift be explosive. From today, every deposit heaven has made in your life, nothing can stop it. I break stunted growth. I stop every hand of suppressing and oppression. Let the power of the Holy Ghost activate the fire. 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 Receive it, yeah. Receive it. Okay. Some 
of you, you literally feel fire in your hands. A bit of a nasty. You literally feel fire. I see it. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Take it, take it, take the fire, take the fire, take the fire, take it, take it, take the fire, take it, take the fire, take it, take it, take it, take it, enjoy it. You will never be a failure in your season. You will never be a failure in your generation. May the Lord raise you up. May the Lord raise you up. Become an icon, a receptacle of his purpose, a sign of God's grace. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. Put your two hands on your head. Put your two hands on your head. Listen, by this prayer, wherever you are from today, as I lift my hands, there is an unction of attraction coming upon you. Watch this. Ah, five people amongst you already that have been visited. And I see God sending your divine helper to locate you. Take it. Yeah. Two. Take it. Three. Take it. Four. Take it. Yeah. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Yeah. You are being located. You are being located. They will not miss you. I said they will not miss you. I said they will not miss you. I said they will never miss you. You will never miss them. Some of you. It's a disgruntled, disoriented widow woman. But the Lord says, I have commanded her to sustain you. Now, thank you, Jesus. There are some of you, eh, you feel the fire right now on your head. If you feel the fire on your head, put your hands on it. If you don't feel the fire on your head, you say, free with you. If you feel it on your head, place it on your head. But if you don't feel it on your head, remove your hands. Those of you feel it on your head, put it there, yeah. Yeah, put it there. There are not all of you. You feel the fire on your head. Put your hands on your head if you feel it. Those of you who don't feel it, put your hands down. Bring those people to me right now. Those, those whose hands are on their head. Yeah, bah. yeah, let it happen. Watch, 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 watch. Do a decent job for me. Take it, yeah, take it, take it, take it, take it. Take it. Put your hands on your head. Take it. Take it. Come. Put your hands on your head. Right. Put your hands on your when you can put your hands on your head, something is happening. Yeah. Take it. Put your two hands on your head. Yeah. Bring him. Bring him. Bring him to me. Bring him. Bring him to me. Bring him to me. Leave him. Leave him. Look at me. Look at me. Osofo. Walk out of this door. Listen. Walk out of this door. This direction. Go here. Don't come through this entrance. Go. Come through here. Walk up. Exit here. Enter here. Go run. Yes, sir. Three times. By the time I'm done. You. Sofo. Here. Go run. Exit here. Enter here. Sir. Three times. Come. 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 Okay. Give me water. Open your mouth. Massa. Some serious blessings come upon your life. Take it. Take it. Come. Take it, boy. There is a strong spirit. There's a strong spirit that manifests like a snake. Lift, put your two hands on your head. But that does from your background. Today, let the Lord raise you. Bring it, Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Chaba. I want you to form a perfect spirit. I want to touch you for this week. Bring him back. Bring him back. Yeah. 
Take it. Okay. Naradosh. Only those who have your hands on head. If you feel the fire, if you don't feel it, don't come. Take it. Some of you, the fire, this fire you feel is going to last for three days consistently. Come. Come. Very quick. Take it. Take it. Can I bring, bring it? Take it. Shabbos. Ibarosh. Come. Bring him. Bring him to me. Bring him to me. Bring him. One. Let him take a step. Bring him back. Bring him back. Bring him back. Next one. If you are not one of those, you can sit down for me. If you don't feel the fire on your head, as I said, sit down for me. I want to touch only those people. Thank you, Lord. Can I get an offering, bro? Yes, ma'am. Come, bring, bring Mama to me. Bring it. Bring it. Please put your hands on your head. Nabarosha. Enter into greatness. Let your greatness show. Bring him. Bring him. Let your greatness manifest. Let your greatness manifest. Bring him. Let your greatness manifest. Bring him. Bring him. Let that greatness manifest. Bring him. Your two hands in the oil. Your two hands. One more, one more. Take it, take it. Your two hands. Put it on your face. Receive that fire. Yeah. Put it on your face. Yeah. Fire. Take it. Take your seed. Take a seed. Watch this. Shh. Take a seed. Just take a seed. Your hundred Ghana seed. Take a seed. Put it on the altar. Take it. Run. Run to me. Run. Put it on the altar. Quick, 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 quick. We have to raise it. Take, take a seat. Take a seat. Take a seat. It's not that Ghana cities. Run. Put it on the Whatever you are. Run. 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 Please run. 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 Take a seat. Connect. That's, it's as simple as that. Don't force him up. It's okay. Run, run, take a seat, take a seat, just a seat. Get a seat. Run. 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 Are you ready for tonight's service? Are you ready for tonight's service? Are you ready for tonight's service? A manifestation of the grace on my life, on Prophet Victor, on Prophet Addison. Manifestations, hello, of the prophetic and apostolic. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Take a seat, take your seat, take your 50 Ghana cities, take your 100 Ghana cities, take it, come, run to the altar, place it there, very quick, very quick, take it, take it, take it, take it. Dabadosh, Dabas, you are going to live in houses you never built. You will drink from wells you never dug. Run, please run, please run, please run. May say next year, Senko for per visa, I'm going to Because the atmosphere is open for visa free. Visa free. <laughs> Take a seat. 50 Ghana, 100 Ghana, 20 Ghana. Run, 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 run. Tonight, 
you are coming with your own oil your own oil abatala savara katose any situation in his presence shall surrender you know anybody sick believing god listen shh. people believing god for the fruit of the womb fibrous will sink the power of god will hit the house you're clapping your clapping is a sign of disbelief unbelief take your seat your 20 ghana your 10 ghana your five ghana whatever seat you have please come and please on the altar go and sit down come run 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 very quick run very quick run very quick run 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 please me patch up 5 30. we have an overflow please please and make sure you are coming with your household for the grace that is to be unleashed upon your life you cannot leave anybody you love behind so do be ah the best you can do for the person is to expose them to the grace you enjoy are you buying the books let's be on our feet listen the bible says two shall become one And every woman's title, married woman's title, is more than conqueror. Hallelujah. They are what? Tonight, you haven't seen my brother, but his wife is already here. Oh, let's acknowledge Reverend. Mrs. Anita Ade. Ah, now I am who I am. I am a fan. I am a fan. I am who I am. I said, yeah. Hello. Hallelujah. Reverend Mrs. Anita Kusibuatin. Now I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, I'm ready. Hallelujah. Give it up for her. Hallelujah. Now, if ordinary people don't go CSEA, but very close people, you can tell what is on the way coming. Tonight we will see something you have never seen before. Hallelujah. 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 Tonight, I'm so excited about what the Lord is going to do here. Please come on time and make sure that you come with your bottle of oil. Hallelujah. With your bottle. Now, if, if you have any pledge, any form, pledge of any form, Pacho, any pledge of any form, put it on the altar. Please, you don't have to joke with. It's prophetic instructions that are given under the unction. And one of the simplest ways to connect to the grace is your seed. Amen. And you're very, very important. Yeah, now sometimes you come over see the agro. You see, prophet was asking, open the envelope and bring the money out. Now, because it was for fun. It's not for fun. Some people pledge thousand or they buy not the hundred nation. shame. Hundred, not their shame. Who are you deceiving? You want your blessing. Hallelujah. Programs of this nature, you have no idea. So it's a privilege to give. When you are giving, give well. Is that the only envelopes that could be redeemed? Are these the only envelopes that could be redeemed? Okay, so tonight when you are coming, please come on time and make sure you are coming with your whole family. And tonight, the devil is already checked out of town because Jesus has visited us. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Bless the name of the Lord for what he has done. Bless the name of the Lord for what he's about to do. Bless the name of the Lord. Thank him, 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 thank him. 
Thank him. You call Reverend Amole Kujo to come and bless us. And Mon Sema Papa no Mr. And Emma Fancha and Yahi. He won't pay. A radio won't pay. That was say. What dumb song called Radin a day with the admin. Any Peter Bay again said Radin Cabea, Yentana, hey, yeah. Nan so what do move when you may be prayed, you may. Lady, you may be dear in a shower, sir. Found quite so a radishra, we need pedia. O be beer and you may a radodin in Abyssia. Dear Dana Kumaso, a radaman is uncancer and worthy hako. A shra would need crown crown. Fire could read the assumed dream, and you may so assign the air, but Christo would dream on your own pie. Amen. I did it for you now, Mom, come on, Miss Abney, say. When your uncle pound door, Susan Crown cry, Uncle Fa, on the entrance, he say, any day now. Amen. Thank you, Papa. God bless you. Hey, Bacho, thank you. Thank you for showing up tonight. It's the last night. The last